this video. We first start by going to our model wizard where we select our space dimension. So we'll be dealing with 2D axis symmetric space dimension. Then we'll select our physics. So we go to our acoustics where we'll select, we we'll go to thermal viscous acoustics where we we'll select this first one. So we add this, then we'll also add electrostatics to our work. Okay. So after adding our these two physics, we go on to structural mechanics where we add the membrane. Okay. So our membrane and the dependent variables shown in here, as you can see. We want to make some modifications to the dependent variables for the thermoviscous acoustics. Pressure is P, U, V, W, T. Temperature variation is T. Okay. Now the membrane, make here UM. I want to name this new UM. I want to name this side to UM. To name this VM. I want to name the VM. Move to our steady. And over here, we'll not add any steady for now. So we click on done. No. Okay, so that brings us to our work. So with the parameters, we'll manually input our parameters that we're working with. So I will input them one by one. It should take a little bit of time. I'll be done shortly. So as you can see, we have the HM. Microns TM seven I have two three times I have TM. Which will be the one five zero eighteen square which we have this is eight two zero zero it becomes four. four. 
we have 10, which will be pressure. Next ten now incidence pressure. Then the pressure release. To be zero. We have membrane elastic modulus. One P O. We have the membranes Poisson, which will be zero point four. The polarization voltage of voltage. We have pre amplifier. It should be one. Okay. So okay, let me that we have this membrane radius, you have the air gap thickness, membrane thickness. And let me let me name all. This is the membrane radius. This is the air gap thickness. This is our slit gap width. This will be our membrane static tension. This will be our membrane density. So these are slits. So we have our membrane radius, air gap, air gap. This is rather the membrane thickness and this is rather the slit gap which is the membrane static tension. And this is the membrane density. This one here is the external incidence pressure. This is the pressure. Release pressure. This will be our membrane elastic. Pressure. Modulus. Pressure. This uh, membrane 
Was the ratio? We have a polarization voltage. We have a preamplifier. Amplifier output. Response. We have our. We should include membrane surface density, which will be zero times zero. Membrane. Surface density. Okay. Okay, so after inputting our parameters, we can go ahead and start building our geometry. We can start building our geometry. First, add a rectangle. Add a rectangle and the width and the height of the rectangle will be we'll add a rectangle and the width of the rectangle will be. R, M, E, M, M, and height is H. You go ahead to build selected. You build it simply. You add another rectangle where the weight will be G, the height will be H. And this to be HM. We want the R to be at R N E L membrane G minus G. Okay. So as you can see, we have it over here. Four million and we built all. We have formed our two rectangles. And go to definitions. We want to add uh, explicit where the boundary will be at three and six. So this label will be the membrane as you can see Look at the view axis, the view scale. Let's make it automatic. And let's update it. So as you can see, we have modified the view scale. Yeah, go ahead to add material where we'll add first add a adding air to our material to our, our work so 
and then you can see the properties already predefined for air. If you go ahead, you see other properties like the basic properties, several properties in here. Analytic. If you should plot this, you see all these values of it. And now we go to move to the to stats. Let's bring it up here. We want to okay. We want to add a crown to our little stats. Which is statics, we want to add a crown. The foreground, we want to highlight. Let me close the section. Now we can highlight our ground. Want to to be our ground. Two is our ground. This section is our ground. Go ahead and we want to. We're going to add terminal. The terminal will be at the top. Want it to be for the membrane too as well. And the terminal type, we want it to be a circuit. Keep done over here. Go to component and let's add another physics. Oh, wait. Let's go to ACDC and let's add, go to electrical circuits. Let's go ahead and add this electrical circuit to our work. Because of the terminal that we've added. So what's the ground node? Electrical list. This is the Let's add an external coupling. That will be external I versus U. So the external device wants to change here to a terminal voltage. And we want to, the node for the end, we want this to be zero. We look, go ahead, look at the external, we want to add the resistor. Resistor, the P node will be one, and node will be two. And the resistance, as we define our parameters, will be the RP Yeah, as we define in our parameters. How do you define this in our parameters? Go to electrical circuits. We want to add a voltage source. So for the voltage source, make the P side two, N side, make N side zero. We should change the voltage to V. 
simple as we defined in our parameters. Okay, let's just start. Okay, let's come to the thermal viscous. Thermal viscous. We add the pressure to it being at the five section, and then the pressure we tell we add the pressure and we go to thermal. Our multi physics, and we add this thermal viscous acoustic structure where we select the membrane. Also, structure is at the membrane. So let's go to the membrane and let's. So everything is at the membrane. Look at the address. The thickness offset of the membrane. We want to define the thickness to T and go to the membrane, linear elastic. Membrane, and we want to specify the young modulus to be user defined to be M. Also, we want to specify the Poisson ratio to N U N also specify the density to be We've already defined all these in our parameters. So, Want to add an initial stress strain to a linear elastic membrane. We want to define the incoming force to be T1. No. Also, here it should be seen. And the initial force. Go to maybe when I want to add a fixed. Let's add a fixed constraint to six. So we've added a fixed constraint to six. And let's go back to memory and let's add base load. I think we want to add, yeah, I think we have to add a face load to this. We want to add a face load to our memory. So after adding a face load, we select the memory. Then 
define the force type. Okay. This is either defined as good. Now the R is ES dot DA. Like this. So this is the new type for our force the R and the Z. Go back to our memory, we want to add another the Want to add another phase load? So this is the second phase load that we are adding. Which will also be uh, the membranes and we have force per unit area. We want this to be pressure. Add any pressure to we want to define here as this to be length uh, to bracket P, which is defined as external incident pressure. So over here. Oh, I didn't define it. Yeah, you have the pin over here. External incident pressure. So phase load two. Okay, so what do we do next is we go to, let me see, let me close all these. Go to definitions and we want to add the moving mesh. Add the moving mesh. Let's add a deforming domain, which will be for all domains. And we add a fixed boundary as well. Yeah, two and seven. So two, five, seven. We add a I think we want to add after this, we want to add moving mesh, want to add a symmetry ruler <laughs> to one. We want to add that prescribed mesh displacement to uh, our member. Want to describe the prescribe the mesh displacement as you. Hmm? If it prescribed in this case, it's going to be W. Yes, U M and W M for our mesh displacement. So after doing all this, we go to the mesh where we add mapped we 
adjust the edge left mesh. Then we add the distribution. Or three and the number of elements wanted to be 30. We have another distribution for six and number of elements should be four. We add another distribution that will be for. Four. You want it to be predefined. Number of elements should be ten. Element ratio should be two. Symmetric distribution. Let's build selected. So we have this built. Okay. Go to mesh and add on UDS. Make four. Number of boundary layers should be five. One point two, you want a manual, and you want two microns. For boundary layers, so let's build the selected. And we have this. As you can see, let's make the transition rather. Let's take smooth rather and let's build. Okay. So we have our mesh system built. Now we'll add steady. We'll be adding a membrane. Okay, first we add an empty steady. Add first, add an empty steady. Then we'll go to the steady steps and add the stationary. So add the stationary steady to this. And we'll add a frequency, let's see, we add frequency domain perturbation. We have steady stationary we have frequency domain. Steady, we want to check this, this. As, as you've seen in here, then frequency perturbation, we have all checked. So we'll go to phase load to, to see what we have here. Okay, we have this. Go to the frequency domain perturbation. 
and so we add the frequencies we start from 2.5 step will also be 2.5 we stop at 300. Okay. Let's look at the resolution. We use the solution from previous select now. Go to the steady and we want to add. Let's show the default solver. Yeah. Go to the solution store. How the questions we go to the direct and we want to change the exit. That is cool. Okay. Also, at the stationary solver, too, you know, want to make here yeah, to like this to Padisco. So, move to steady one. And go ahead and compute. Power. That closes the sides as well. Yeah. And, uh, close it and compute. It will take a very short time. Okay, so we have our results as shown in here. Go to steady. Metric potentials. See our stress.
Actually, I'm like really stressed. Variables won't add a global evaluation. I want to take it from steady to evaluation to. Now let's take it from solution one. We we'll add an expression. Statics. Okay, the voltage coming up. So, yeah, the second one, and we want. The expression should be static solution. So we have evaluated scale values in here. After the evaluation, frequency, terminal voltage, and terminal charge. Okay, so generally that brings us to the end. But we can make some several plot groups as well. We can add a 1D plot group, we can add a 2D plot group. We add a 1D plot group. We want to But uh, global, expression, put an expression in here, 20 times the log of 10. Yes, that's The Okay. 
that brings us to the end of our work. By going to our model wizard, where we select our space dimension. Then we select our physics. We'll be using a lambda battery. So our battery interfaces, then lambda battery, which we will add. Then we move to our steady. Then we select the steady that we'll be dealing with. We'll be dealing with the time dependent. So we select time dependent and we are done. It brings us to our interface over here. So we can quickly go ahead to load our parameters. So we click on parameters and we load our parameters from file. So we'll call this. Also, which brings us here. So we'll begin with. We'll be working with this parameter, this data, battery capacity loss parameters, which we will go ahead to open. This is all our variables in here. Go on to our land battery. Also, see what we have here. We want to change the operation mode to this. We want to change the applied voltage. We also want to change the battery cell capacity. We want to change the SOC as well. And we are done in here. Go to the cell equilibrium potential. We want to clear. Then we load. Our variable. From our file in here, we we'll choose the capacity loss parameters. So we we'll load this data. change our reference temperature to T. We'll go to our voltage losses. We 
so I think it's a here should be tea. We'll make our potential to change. Two, one, C cups. So if you go ahead to include concentration or potential, a cow should be. So we can go ahead and add our capacity loss. In here should be user defined, then change our temperature to see. Change uh, this to the uh, colors. And we have to include our uh, aging factors, which will depend on voltage. Change the offsets to. Let's change transfer coefficients to alpha. We want to include the aging history to as well. Want to make this upstream. We we'll go back to our parameters to check. So all that we define in there has been fully expressed and described over with the description the variable is the description we move to our study i want to name this as the calendar life yeah the parametric seed I want to add parameter name, which we'll call the applied voltage, which will vary from two. The parameter which you did the SOC We move to the time dependent. We want to change the, the range for the times. To make here ten. Two. Three. This way.
eat this ring. Go to the calendar live. You want to uncheck the default plot and you want to compute this. So there was an error. Okay, so there was an error that was detected. So we quickly identify the error. And we would like to change this to 3.97 our parameter value list. Then we can go ahead to Okay, so that is the only section I change. I'll change to so I change it previously it was 3.9 for well now I'm making it 3.97. I want to compute. So there we have able to compute was the mistake was actually from this section. That was how come we're able to compute our results. So we move to time dependent. We want to change our range as well. So we've already changed our range. I want to, now that we've been able to compute it, now we want to add a 1D plot loop. One D plot group to our work. Then go ahead to name this one D plot group as relative cell capacity. Then our data sets will change it to calendar life parametric solutions. We go on to add a global plot which we want to change the expression to add this as lb dot q cell this lb This will go on to describe it as a relative cell capacity. We want to change the axis to maintain as time and rather change the units to A. It should be time. Legends should be manual, show and should be 25%. So, see, I want to make this to make this 50, we make this. Go on to plots, then we have our plots. We move to our relative cell capacity. We want to edit our title. None. Go on to change where our legends will be wanted to be at the lower left.
Asisten Ugalien. So we go ahead to our long battery. We want to see the change the operation mode to as well to see how it will be. We want to make it a charge discharging cycle. We want to change the discharging cycle to LB. B dot I. One C it should be cups should be a negative. This involved voltage should be the more we want to include the reset period. So, want to change the rest in time to rest. You want to change the charging current to C. So these are some of the, the changes that we are making over here. The dumb battery section. We want to also change the maximum voltage to this definition. There should be curves. We want to also change the resting time the resting time in here to as well want to change it using the same resting time that we're using over here And we go on to include the capacity loss, make changes. Capacity loss, we want to include current at our capacity loss. Want our cycling capacity to be big H. We want to add another steady to our work. We will choose a time dependent steady. So we move to our steady tool and want to name this as cycle life. We use the same time for the steady one. Use that for steady two. So we copy steady two. Then we just change this to one. Let's change this part to the one.
go to the life cycle, then we uncheck the default plots. We'll go ahead to compute. So, it's actually solving. It will take some time, it will take a while, depending on the CPU of your machine. It takes some time though, so we, we cannot do anything aside. We wait till this is done computing. It will take some time, but it's very important we finish, we allow it to compute, to finish computing so that we can continue. This is taking quite a long time.
taking quite a while to finish computing. All we can do is wait some time and let us finish computing. I'm sure for some computers it will take quite a long time, longer time than this. Some too will take shorter time depending on the run of the, the machine.
Semua dia nak tengok semua ni Okay so
So inputs are global dots with um, duplicates in here. In our data set, you select life cycle solution six. where we change our legends. Change them to one green cycle. Go to the capacity loss. So capacity loss, then ability cell capacity. That gives us our plot. So we're able to see our, our different chart cycle with the speed of chart as well. So that's the result work and the output that we got at the end of this work. So this work we began with our new work and we go to our model wizard, we select our space dimension. As 3D we selected 3D and it brings us here. We select we then select our physics. Then it return battery so we select the Electrochemistry, which brings us a lot of options, which is the battery interface. We select lithium ion battery. Since we've added it, now we move to our study and we'll be dealing with time dependence with initialization, which I'll add over here. So I'll save this as work. And we come to this interface here. So, like I said, you select our 3D dimension and we select our battery interface, then steady time dependent with initial the time initialization. So, this is basically the, the interface definition geometry and materials physics mesh steady results and uh, here. So quickly we go to our parameters and we select the parameters that we'll be using. We will load it from our file. So I'll load it from here. Go to local decks, go to programs file, go to console, it's physics patients, batteries, battery looking up. We're using pouch utilization parameters. That is what we're using to so load it. And it allows us to add all our, the parameters that we're working with. So as you can see, all our parameters have been moved over here. Cell height, tab height, everything, cell thickness, reference exchange, negative electrode, all these have been added away. So we are going to use these parameters to work for our work today. And it's very important that you always set our parameters right, make sure all these things are in black ink. So we go to our geometry quickly and we select our wet plane. So when we select our work plane, it brings us to this interface, as you can see over here. So, we select our work plane one. And this is, after selecting this, we also 
come to our plane geometry, select here, and we insert or we add a rectangle since we are building our geometry. And we'll define what our height is based on our parameters. We know we'll be using these have already been named in our parameters. So W H cell. Then come to our height is also H cell. As you can see over here, then we build selected. So build selected, as you can see over here. So we do this using this um, parameters. So it's even over here, we can see our W cell, our H cell, and we made it rectangle that we sell over to and that. So we go to a geometry and we add another, we add this extrude to it. When we add our extrude, this how it appears. We come to our distance M and we so it's this. Over here. So we just as I'm inputting, we just uh, do exactly what I'm doing over here. So follow up. So, so we are building our, our geometry and using these parameters. These are already defined. These variables are already defined in our parameters. So that's what we do at distances. And we make sure that all these are well are well pleased they are they would correctly if afterwards then we select on the build to build selected so this is how it looks like after selecting the build after building this I hope um, you've been able to do this, this geometry as I've done over right here. We can move to definitions. I would like to see the view using the camera here. We go to view scale and use manual over here. And the Y. Z address, we select 100 and we update to see how it looks like. So as you can see, we've seen some changes that we made over here after. 
to changing the Z scale over here. So this is a view of how our geometry looks like. Move to extrude. I'm selected. Okay, we have to add uh, a block to our geometry. And the width, select. Or height as well. And also our done that for the depth and we do that for our height as well, which will be this. We go ahead to do selected. As you can see. So after we input our width, size, depth, height, we also come here and we input the base, which is this. And after building, this is how our geometry actually looks like. So you just move the mouse around this geometry and you're able to see it in 3D how it looks like. Looks very, very, very cool. <laughs> very cool, as you can see over here. So if you if you follow me as I've done, you'll be able to do it exactly how okay. So you, you, secondly, afterwards we just duplicate this to our block two, then we just change the some of the uh, positions over here. Over here, we change it to minus H tab over here. Z to change to this. Just like this. Come here. Here it goes to zero. Here exactly how it was. Then we build. So you can see that actually included another part to it, as you can see here. So block one, two, okay. Oh, I think you will do it this way. You change, it's supposed to change here, and you bring it here. And you see what we have over here.
to go but so the military will build or this is how it should look like Also, definitions and the add and explicits to our definitions. We'll name this label here as positive. Uh, and we're gonna select one domain over here. Okay, so it's quite difficult to select the domains over here. We duplicate this positive tab. Change this to positive. Right. Let's say. Okay. So that's six for that part. So that's we need to duplicate this again. This becomes a positive electrode, which we select as five. So whenever we select the two the domain, it actually highlights over here. Get to see how we, we actually duplicate again, which we name as the negative. Right? This makes us seven. Add another one, which that becomes our number two. Now we we will negative electrode, which is uh, domain three. Over here. We duplicate this, it becomes a uh, Separator. So we add another explicit to it.
Okay, we select our boundary. We label this as our negative tab and select our boundary into my Duplicate this, which becomes our positive. Tab end. It's number two. To this Select both of these. A negative tab and a negative current letter. We label it as a negative Duplicate this. We need to form or positive as well. Use for that our positive tab, positive current collector is having to the other. Right here. Well, we select negative and negative positive, which we add. We will ask the metal. Oh. Domains. Yes, I like it over here. Definitions and we have a global variable proof. Name this as cell voltage. It's 
expression. The name as Sorry, So, just like this. This is actually in yellow because we've not defined it, but as we move on, it will be defined. It will be defined, it will define it later on. So we add our description. It will be our cell. We add a general projection as well. For our negative, we We choose our negative electrode. We should be in small caps. We duplicate this as well. And this becomes our positive. So we choose our positive electrode. Then we add go on to add our material from library. Go to Add aluminium, add copper, now batteries we have to choose our electrodes, we add and O. We add a graphite electrode. We're going to add a electrolyte as well. And we're going to add this over here. This aluminum and the allies you see all the properties over here. So we have to select the domain for aluminum. Our domain becomes aluminum is at a positive current 
collector in tab, as you can see over here. Well, uh, just the current collector. Like you said, right here. Go back to the materials. Same thing for copper. We have to also select the domain for copper. It is our negative current collector and tab. And that's for our two electrodes as well. Graphite, these are the negative electrodes. And let's add the positive electrode. Electrolytes. It's going to be at the separator. So we've actually identified where our materials will be in the domain. We want to add a separator number two model. Select the domain for separator, which would be yeah. at domain four, which is our separator. Go on to select where our proposed electrode will also be. That for the negative, select the negative electrode. Duplicate and add a. Uh, before we duplicate, we need to add to the electric electrolyte material. So. We define other properties as well. The electrode material to as well. We need to define it.
before we define it, we need to, I want us to define the electrode volume fraction. Also, define the electrolyte volume fraction. We will maintain this as a domain, then move on to. defining the particle interpolation. So the particle material will move to the particle mean center surface. RP, which is positive. Plus um, yeah, and we move to the reference in current density. We want to add an electrode. This is a metal foil. Add electric ground. Don't add electric. This is Is actually I. 
cups die. So I need to keep moving that. So after defining it, you realize that this part that was actually previously uh, yellow has now turned black, meaning it's been defined. We add initial cell charge. Initialize of charge. Select the demo for the negative electron selection. Do that for the positive as well. Come is not applicable. Move to yeah, and add the porous electrode it's because we didn't add porous electrode. I would like us to bring it just beneath the negative one because this is going to be our positive, so it's appropriate to positive. And that is Our electrolyte material, we choose as well, select as well. Make sure we select our electrolyte material. Now it becomes clear. So particle intercalation.
move to process electrode reaction as well. And we change the reference exchange carrying density over here. Just to check if it's actually they would every part and change all everything that has to be changed. So we go on to mesh our geometry. Like to add map. To help mesh our geometry. That twenty. It's all the persons. We move and to mesh. Right click and we choose a swept. to set no free channel. So under the swept, we add a distribution to it. Highlights the negative lecture. We actually choose a predefined number. the number of elements, which is 15. And the element ratio is like three. Afterwards, we do select it and we see how actually those is for us. So can you duplicate? Choose that for separator.
is that for bill select. Yeah, actually get a little idea, better idea of how it looks like when you imagine it. We choose our separator after choosing our separator. Big number is four, which is four. So this is our separator. We add distribution use the positive electrode so choose pretty fine. Fifteen to three add the reverse direction and go four. Mesh in build for into a steady, then we add a parametric sweep. I do it during the simulation. We choose this parameter by value list one to four. The time dependence as well. We change this. to
So the time is the time. So I'm steady. Then the complete. Okay, so there was an error in the computation. It, it was because of uh, um, uh, a mistake in naming one of the variable in domain five, which is the positive. So I just located where that mistake was. It's at domain five, which is the plus, the positive. So when you come over here, we can see um, Comso has given has notified me over here that this is an unknown variable. I have to name it properly. It's because this has to be like this, just like this before it will actually work. So this was actually the error. This was the cause of the error. So afterwards, if I should compute over here, it should run accordingly. So I'm sorry about that. That was a complete oversight. So this should start running. Okay, okay. Running. Running correctly. No error now. In case yours uh, pops up or an error comes up, you should just check naming of your variables in the equations and some of the geometries that we've inserted. You just have to check maybe those you did omit a letter or interchange one of the letters, so it would actually give you an error. If you, if you basically follow the procedure, what I've given you, you should, the, the model should actually work. It should run and it should produce results for you like this. So it will take some time depending on the 
CPU of the machine. Taking time, okay, this takes a lot of time. So actually patiently waiting for it to finish running. So we have it now. Finally, it finished. And So this is how it should look like after console solves this model. You should basically have this. This took about five minutes, 51 seconds. Depending on the machine, like I said, the CPU of your machine, it could take maybe either a shorter time or Maybe it might take a longer time. Okay, so we'll continue looking at some of these plots. You add a 3D plot group. Name this. Potential in and tap, and there should be the steady one parametric solution three data sets. 
time should be zero. Show emergence, you show maximum and minimum value task go. And the manual color legend will give us the color for this. The potential and negative. I like us to add volume to it. We actually make here this to we'll see how it looks like. Okay, yeah. But then we add deformation or selection, not deformation, add. Rather, we add a selection. It's like a negative current collector and tab. But Session make it four. And text color make it. We have something like this. How about we find that for the Positive, so we duplicate this and we find that for the positive. Find that for the positive and see how. Actually, B. Okay, so for the positive, that's how I should look. We add another 3D. But 
Durability. Printer, we choose parametric solutions zero. Ah, the slides. Okay, so, and over here, when I get the, you have to choose an expression for it. I feel that you, you choose electrolyte current density. So, this gives us this and we are to matrix. This you choose entry method, you choose coordinates, then you enter which coordinate you want to use to specify. Um, so, this is what we have. Well, we choose the time to about 6.30 and we plot after 6.30 seconds and we plot to see what happens. After 630 seconds, this is what happens. If we go to add a 3D plot group where we Name as utilization. Probably the relative capacity put.
you need a steady parametric solution one, then it starts at two, five, zero. Show maximum and minimum values for this. Yeah, how about we add the surface? We add surface and surface plot. We add generate project positive. At zero, I was yes, the average minus yes. Um, Yes, we had a bridge of EPSS of teeth. So we have this here. Just to check the expressions. Right in the hood. Right in the hood.
So we're going to set this and add a selection. Okay, okay. It's an error. It's an error over here. I need to double check what I've done to see if everything is right and there's a mistake somewhere. Okay, okay. It shouldn't be like this. Okay, it's still a problem over there. When we choose our space, we're working with the 1D space. So we choose 1D. Then we choose our select our physics. So we want to use lithium ion battery. So we click on electrochemistry. And we look for battery interfaces where we select lithium ion batteries. And we move to our study. We'll be dealing with time dependent with initialization. So we add to click our study. Done. It brings us to our interface, as you can see. So we look at our parameters and we want to load our parameters. Programs files, console files. Our batteries. So we will be looking at choosing our parameters from here. So when you go to your programs files, application, battery fuel cells, lithium and battery, to bring it to this section where you have to load your parameters over here. And you can see we have several parameters that we can work with. There are several parameters over here that has been inbuilt in the console setup, as you can see over here. So we will be looking at the battery, the parameters that we're working with is right over here. We're looking at battery multiple mat materials parameters, as you can see over here, and we load it. So it brings us here. And when you load it, you get all these parameters over here. So this is what we'll be working with right here, our work today. You can go ahead to build our geometry. We add an interval, specify the interval, make it interval length, and we input what the length will be. We want to use LNEG. L set. We want to add L positive. So afterwards, we build the selected and it's been built right here. So Afterwards, you can go ahead 
and add our material. We add from library. We choose our electrolytes first. Then afterwards, we add our electrode that we'll be dealing with. After adding your negative, you have to add your positive electrode too. So add our MO electrode to as well. And we close this material section. So as you can see, we have two positives and one negative. We'll look at the NCA, look at the basic equilibrium, and look at the interpolation. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, and we'll also look for that of LMO, look at the basics, look at the interpolation, and we we'll plot to see the difference. See, there's, there's a huge difference between that. Go on to add our variables, which will load from our file. We'll load from our file right here, multiple materials variables. As shown here. These are the variables that we will be working with in our work for today. So it's very easy to locate where your variables will be if you follow what I'm doing exactly. If we go to lithium and want to add a porous electrode to our work and we select the domain, which is the first domain. We go on to choose, we look at the, before that, let's open our material section and to close the side. So at the pros electrode, we go down and we define the electrode material. So we look at the electrode material here and we want it to be, if chosen here, so we want it to be the negative electrode because this domain already is an, if indicated as a negative. And we look at the pros matrix, we want to define this. And you see it's, 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 it's it comes as detected as an unknown variable. as you can see over here. But later on, as we move on, it will be defined. Go to the particle intercalation. Very important, we select the material, which is a negative. We go to particle transport properties, where we look at the species concentration transport, we want to change this to the selection in here. Then we look at the particle mean center surface. We should use the, that of the negative. Look at particle discretization. We want to change the number of elements. We 
we want to make it 20. In this section. You look at the distribution and we want to make it linear the particle discretization and we move quickly move to the pro electrode reaction we look at the material we choose uh, negative we look at the reference exchange current density choose this specify this go to lithium I want to add another porous electrode we select the domain we select the First, we select the electrode material, which is the positive NCA. We select, we change this electrode volume fraction. Once and CA, change this to X, yes. and we go to effective transport parameter, we make this user defined correction factor should be this, Positive. And that of diffusion two has to be user defined. And the same for, same as this. So we did, we did copy and paste over here. So we move to the particle intercalation. We choose our material. Select our material to be NCA. Move to our particle mean center surface which we change to rp positive of ca we change the species fixed so to baker we change we did change it to baker so we change So we change this to this. And we go to pros electrode, we change the material to NCA. We change the exchange current density. Oh. Or should be in small cups. Then MCA in big cups. So 
in small cups. Bye. Okay. We go on to add an additional porous electrode material. We select the domain. Then the volume fraction too has to be changed. Like this. Add the particle interpolation. and particle transport species as this. And concentration, we want to change this to solid phase concentration. Defined in here. We go to the pros electrode reaction one, then we want to define the material. So we define the material. We have to select the material for this. So our material is positive. Also, we have to change this extreme current density to this. And we change the concentration to insertion concentration. Okay, so some inputs are just the small caps has to be small caps. I So we go on to add a separator. Which will select the domain. Separator is this section. And we replace the volume fraction. Set. Then electrolyte conductivity is user defined. As you can see. Also, we copy this same for the diffusion has to be user defined. So we place this in here.
So we go on to add initial charge distribution. The initial cell charge distribution. We want to make this section the initial charge battery cell setting as state of charge. We input this value as SOC underscore cell. Yeah. And this section is also the score there. Yeah. Now this is but we move to the negative electrode selection and obviously we have to select this section for it that because that's a negative domain and also do that for the positive select the section So after doing this, we go on to check where our value was in, it's still unknown. It's because of, this should be underscore and should be correctly named. So now that all our variables are, we go on to add an electric ground. I want to add an electric ground. We select a section. So it's this point that becomes our electric ground. Then we go on to add an electrode current and a, an electrode current to this as well which we select where to be at the fourth Go to default and we want to click here and make our temperature T. We set it to T. We go on to mesh. We want, let's make it fine. Let's build. Okay. Let's go on to add an integration. Let me select boundary for this integration. I want it to be so it's fourth. Let's name this integration as we set the operator name to be different name over here. How about we name it as end 
terminal. So we said we said that that section. How about we move to the current? And we go to the time dependent and we change to We go ahead to show our default solver. Our time dependent so uh, how about we change the times to to store as as this And we go on to add a stop condition. We add our stop our expression. This will be our stop expression. So our output at stop, we want to deselect and check this. And we want to uncheck the default plots. And we go ahead to compute. So our, we've been able to compute this. It has given us some results. We want to add a one D plot group. Where we want to name this plot group as constant.
discharge we want to add a point graph to this choose to end make a selection if actually can actually paste this and it'll actually be the same i can use this piece selection to paste it but right. you can just click on it and let's go we select the expression over here go to uh lithium ion batteries this is our expression that we should be using electric potential electric potential and we plot it gives us electric potential versus time graph of it and look at the plot settings to check and change what should be at the y and x axis on the y axis should be the voltage the title we want it to be this we want to make some edit the axis as you can see so you go on to add another plot group where the one the plot group want to name this as the surface concentration of the positive and we'll add a point group point graph I will select this and on to choose. Particle intercalation. Then, in the after solid phase, we have session. And then, session particle concentration surface. Legends want to show, we want to name this as NCN. I want to plot this. So we have our plots here. We want to duplicate this point graph. I want to change 
the expression over here. We want to go to, we want to select the insertion particle concentration. So we have our insertion particle concentration. This is what we'll actually select for our work. So we just double click on it. It gives us this. Or you can just Type this expression over here, and that will give you the same results. So we have our plots being done. We go on to the surface. Title, we want to name the title as we want to name the y axis as. Surface concentration. To do some edit editing of the y and x axis. Okay, so we plot this, we've seen some changes. We want to add, change the position of the legend over here to upper left. Let's see. So we go on to a steady solution. We want to duplicate our steady solution one. We want to name this as I will change this here to Take the component from this first section. Material two has been changed. Go to our results. We want to add a 1D plot group.
we want to make this a particle concentration. Negative. We change the data sets to this. We do our time selection as interpolated. We need to add a range and to start from zero, step 200. So far, two thousand. We want to add this to this. We want to add another range to as well. We want to start at 2032. Step will be 2030. Then 2200. Let's add it. Now we make this 2030 instead. We add another range. And this would be We set it or we've added our time range. We want to add a line graph to this. We select one. You can also click here to select all. And we have to put our expression for this, which will be So we want to plot this, and here we have our plot. Let's check the X axis, we name this as normalized particle dimension. We 
check this as well. Okay, I want this to be the particle. So concentration. We want the title to be this. We add another study. We go ahead to add a study for this. And we choose a time dependent with initialization. Thirty two want to change here to so to six hundred. Want to add the parametric soup to this. So add the parameter for which we want to check. So we choose this and we try to vary within these parameters. Go on to steady. We want to show the default solver. We go to over three, we want to see the time dependence of uh, where we want to make the output times steps taken by solver. How about after that we add a time, a stop condition. We input the expression. Which will just be the same as, sorry, this expression. This expression, so I'll, can, you can copy and paste, but I'll, I'll type it again. Up. One that's and that the expression stop expression. We don't, we want to uncheck this, add one inside. We want to also uncheck our uh, default plots and begin to compute to get our results.
we begin seeing some results. So we have our results. Now we go on to add Going to add a 1D plot group. We name this as voltage profiles. Voltage profiles. We'll make it parametric. Let me add a point graph to this. We take the data set from our parametric solutions. Highlight, select this point. And our expression to we'll change to the electric potential. Our legends we want to show manual. Ninety five volume five one mix of NCA and LMO. Five over seven. Next, that's fifty five. Well, forty five. Next, We have seventy five over twenty five mix of NCA and LMO. We have five twenty five plus twenty five. Then we go ahead to plot. As you can see, we have our plot of electric potential time showing different volume mix of uh electric materials when we go here we want to change the y axis to want to change our y axis here I want to name this as just the voltage voltage and we want to title should be manual because voltage profiles for different mix Actions and for NCA and NCA and MO. So after that, we want to manually edit the X axis and Y axis. Bring this to zero. Bring this to Bring this to three and bring here to point two. We plot. Okay, so now 
it makes it more better. Then we want to bring change our legend position. The lower left, you can see over here. So we've been able to see how uh, mixing different positive electrode materials will have on the voltage on the battery during a period of time. And we've been able to plot this voltage profiles for different mixed fractions of NCA and LMO. Also made a surface concentration plots for the NCA and LMO electrode materials. Also, we're able to do some parametric study on how these different mixed fractions will have on the voltage of the voltage over a period of time in the battery. So I'm glad we're able to produce the, these plots in this work that we did today. Okay, so thank you for your attention which will be 2D. Go ahead to electrochemistry, where we want to select corrosion secondary. So we go to corrosion deformed geometry, then we select secondary, corrosion secondary to our work. So we want to add this physics to our work. This will be using, using a secondary current distribution. Move to our steady, where we choose a time dependent with initialization, which brings us to our interface. So, Quickly go to our geometry where we add a rectangle. We want to add a rectangle. And we want to draw our rectangle. Zero one. Same here. We want to choose the position as minus 0 0.01. Then we go ahead to build our geometry. We go on to add another rectangle to our work where we also make a 0.01, our height should be this plus a little change. We want to add a little change to our work. So one, two, three, two, four. So we just want to make a little change to the height and also to the position as well, we want to make a little change to the position as well. If you go on to build selected, as you can see. So we have built our geometry. Go ahead to booleans and we want to make a union out of this. So we select both. We uncheck this. So we want to join these two to make it one. So select it and they are joined together as you can see in here. So we can see that we've joined our two rectangles together to form 
single unit. We can load our parameters from our work. We load parameters from file. We'll be using Galvanic corrosion. Using Galvanic corrosion. I'd like to check, search for Galvanic. So these are parameters you found it as galvanic corrosion with deformation, as you can see. We load our parameter. So after forming our geometry, we go on to add an electrode surface to our work. So we add an electrode surface where we select where this electrode surface will be. So we select two and four for our electrode surface. We check the species conservation, check that. Let's open to check all these sections. Okay. Then we can now go to the electrode reaction. So temperature from the model inputs, the equilibrium potential we put in this expression, right? Also our kinetic expression, we want to use a cathodic tuffle equation where we change our I not exchange current density to this change our anodic current density to this move forward and we go on to add a second electric surface So the second lecture surface will be here. And go to the dissolving species where we add value. We want to name this as MJ. Then this is rho MG. Go M M G So that's what we change in here. After we go to the electrode reaction. where we number of participating electrons we make it two. We set this to be one. We set the equilibrium potential to be this. 
kinetic expression is sorry, it's made of the anodic tuffel, which will be I O underscore. And this is anodic, which will be E and as shown. Add a limiting current density, which will define as I L I M. Anodic as shown as we've done in here. So that's that's for the electrode reaction. So we want to check what we did earlier. We want to cross check and see if it actually named everything as supposed to be. Our electrolytes itself we go to electrolyte conductivity where we make this user defined and this has to be sigma as shown go to our uh, multi physics deformed deforming deformed geometry check Uh, the form geometry so tense sets in here with geometry deformation also sets into the non form your boundary for the initial go to the second Want to select only five. So we want to select only five for this. So. We want to select only five for the deforming electrode surface. And we want to, for the non-deforming non boundary will be the rest as shown here. So we go on to check uh, isolation, everything sets, then we can proceed to check our, our time that we want to set. We want to set our time from zero to 12 times and we want to end at three times twenty-four as shown. This could be very clear for us.
So we can go ahead and compute our work. which generates our results as shown in here. So we've been able to generate our results as shown in here. We want to add a 1D plot group. and the plot group to our work. Which we want to add a line graph. Now one the plot group. So we want to select the data sets from our steady solution one. Want it from the remeshed want to select as you selected our solution, steady solution one. Your solver you check our uh, meshed. Okay. So actually we wanted to, in our time dependent, wanted to make the steady extension an automatic remission. So I have actually gone there to do automatic remission and want to compute it again so that we can get that result because we need a remeshed solution. So I'm recomputing it so that we can get a remeshed solution. Because it's very important for our work. I just went to time dependent, came here. Okay, now, so we have our remeshed results. It's very important to allow us to plot our, our results. So now we have our remeshed solutions. Now we go to results, we add a 1D plot group and we add line graph. Now we can add our steady remeshed solution. So that was exactly what's needed for our work. So our time selection, we want to select from the first. Now work. And we want to select here. We want to select from two, four and five two, four, five, as shown in here. We want to change our expression in here to cd dot i log under er1. That'll give us the local current density. If we should plot, this is what we have having this plot. So I want us to close this space in here. Then our x axis data wants us to change the parameter to an expression so that we can use an expression of x in here for our work. As you can see, to actually make it look this way. So we want to duplicate this work and we want to start from last. 
let's plot let's see okay so from last we've had our plots we were to plot our work So let's go ahead to open a file for this galvanic corrosion with deformation, which will open and add one to view. As you have seen over here. So we go to want to add physics. We want to add physics to our work, new physics to our work. So we go and we add new physics to our work in here. So our physics, we come to chemical species transport. We go to transport of diluted species. We add to our work. Where we define the variables. We want this to be two, we want our concentration to be C M G. We want this to be C O H as done in here. We want to add a moving interface. That's under mathematics. We add level sets. to our work, go to the parameters. And we want to load from file. We want to load our parameters from file, which will be under deposit corrosion parameters. We've actually added these parameters to this. Our definition is we want to add a step to our work. Would mean we want our size of transition to be this. So, we want to add variables which will actually load from file. We want under deposits creation variables this is not defined but later will be defined later we define as we move on the course of our work definitions we want to add non confidence and general Extrusion as shown in here. We want to select, sorry, we want to select a boundary for that. So select boundary. Our source frame, we want it to be 
this way. We want to use source map. We go to advance and we want to set the tolerance to the closest points as much as possible. In our general execution, go to our transports of diluted species. We want to change, uncheck this convection. We want to make it migration. Move to transport properties. And we want to define the diffusion coefficient as dm on s dot df2 plus dm on s dot infl. And we want to also define Okay, so this is one. Okay, now it's defined. The diffusion coefficient as well, DOH. S dot VF2 plus DOH E LS. F1. If we start before this. We want to change the electric potential as well. We want to define it as Q. The charge number, we want it to be two and minus one. Initial values two as well. We want to make here C or H or sorry, this is zero. As shown here. Go on to want to add reactions. We select our domain and we define a reaction should be R. As delta. This also is R is called OH. It's not delta. Go to our transport diluted. We want to add concentration to our work. We select boundaries and we define our species to be me, which zero as defined in here. Go 
go to transport and we want to add move to surface reactions we want to add electrode surface coupling choose two and four for our electrode surface coupling the reactions coefficient we want to change this to uh, local current density for this has to be local current density number of participating electrons we want four and so the section two we want it to be four go on to add surface reactions and we want to add another electrode surface coupling so this is a second surface coupling that i add in we select we go to the reactions. Same here, we choose the second region. The number we want to for this section, and we want to start from negative one in here. Go to the level sets. We want to look at the level sets model. Where we define the reinitialization parameter. It should be this max. as shown in here. We define our parameter for the reinitialization. This side, we also have to define the parameter for the controlling interface thickness, which would be LSHM. Well, we set the velocity field to this value. We set this to this value. expression move to the initial values and we set it as the fluid too we want to add an inlet the inlets we select we select two four and five And we go on to add, once we've added it, an inlet, we have to add an outlet. Very, very important. What's that audio? So, we want to add an outlet. So after selecting our outlet, we need to select 
which area our, our outlet will be because we've already chosen where our inlet will be so we select the outlet and the outlet will be the outer areas will be from three six seven and one that will be our outlet go to our second view that should want to define our electrolyte conductivity add an expression to it that will be ls dot bf2 f2 plus Sigma one F two V F one plus Go to our mesh. We want to add a bit physics induced. For the first size, you want to make this calibrate for fluid dynamics as we want to do for the first one. We want a finer one. For the second one, we want Also extremely fine. Want the dynamics extremely fine. Well work. So we move to our free triangle. We want to add, I think we have to add a size to this. Add a size to our free triangle. And this should be in for a boundary. We select two to five for our boundary. Pretty fine should be extremely fine. Let's build and see how it looks like. So, seeing how it looks like for now. We move to 31. We want to uncheck certain areas like the deformed Geometry we want to uncheck this, we want to uncheck this as well. We want to uncheck these two. And we want to compute. It should take some little time to imp compute. To wait patiently for its computes. Hello. 
so well. Now to wait for it to compute to take some some time to take some time. We we'll wait, we'll wait a while for this to compute. Take some time. We wait a while for it to compute. We wait for some time. Actually taking a while. Taking a lot of time. Really sorry about that. But we can't continue unless we're done computing. So I'll plead with you that we actually wait. I'm sure yours is not also done yet.
So we are we almost 50% through with the computing, still computing. Efficiency rates. So wait, I think we're almost done. Almost done computing. Finally, we're done. That's that's great. We have our results now. Took about nine minutes. So we click on Netflix, look at the streamline, and we want to see the positioning. We want to do a separating distance of about, let's make it about 0 0.035. We want to also make the range, okay, the range is 100. We want to plot, let's see. And here we have our results. We go on to uh, the surface to our work. We put an expression as one here. Yeah. Then we select our coloring. We want it to be uniform. We want our coloring to be uniform. We want it to be gray as well. Go to the surface and we want to add a filter to our work. We want to name this filter as LS. 
That's two, two, one, three to them equal to zero point five. That will be our filter. We want to plot our filter. So when we plot our filter, this what we have. You can see our, our filter in it as shown. We want to add a 2D plot group. We want our data sets from our remesh solution. I think, yeah, we want our data set from our. We want to select our time from about, let's say, the last time. In here, this is what we want to select, and we want to go ahead and add the surface to our three two D. We want to make put this expression in here, and we'll go ahead and and plot. This is what we have. You go ahead and add contour to our work. Contour to, we want to change the expression in here to uh, s dot bf1. Unit should be one. Labels should be, we have entry, or then we have labels, with our levels. So let's make our entry mode levels and want this to be 0 0.5 as shown. Let's change our color table to a different color. It's a uniform. Make it black in here. And plot. So that makes it that brings us to the end of this work and I hope we're able to plot our work, we're able to follow to the end. Thank you. And please kindly subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any questions, please kindly drop them in the comment sections. And don't forget to like the video. Thanks. So we start by going to our model wizard, selecting you. So we, we select our space dimension, we work with the 3D, which we select. Then we come here to select our physics. So we're actually going to use a secondary current distribution for our work. So we go ahead in here, when you we choose under electrochemistry, we have primary and secondary current distribution. We have tertiary current distribution. So we go just under primary and secondary current distribution. We select the secondary current distribution. Then we go ahead to add this. Then we move to our steady, where we have to select our steady. And we'll be dealing with the time dependent steady so we go ahead to choose time dependent with initialization 
which we add. So this brings us to our, our interface, our come to interface where we have added our, our selected our physics and our study. So we go ahead to add our parameters. We want to reload from file. Program file, come to multi physics, applications. Then I think we can search the creative plating parameters. So when we search for the creative to quickly search for our parameters, then we load it, we open, we add to our file, as you can see in here. So we've been able to load our file quickly. as shown over here. So I think we can go start to build our geometry. We go to geometry, right click, then move to insert sequence, which we go ahead to add. And for our sequence, we'll be using the decorative plating geometry for our sequence. So this is our sequence that we'll be using for our work. So choosing the creative plating geometry sequence, we open, load. Okay, so now we have been able to load our sequence. Then we go ahead to build all. So that builds our geometry as shown in here. I want to show transparency as well. So as you can see in here, so we go to materials. Check for materials also. We'll add our materials later, not now. So you go to secondary current distribution and you want to change the current distribution type. We maintain it as secondary for now. We'll be making some changes as well at, at the electrolytes. Also, we want to change the electrolyte conductivity to User defined where we want to set this to K PPA. Yeah. As shown. So we want to go back to secondary current distribution. We want to add an electrode surface where we we'll add to our work. So after adding your lecture surface, you go ahead to choose the domain. So we want to select domain four. This for this will be selected to be our lecture surface in here. So as you can see, there are many sections. And we have the film resistance. Now we move down to boundary condition. We have the perturbation amplitude. We have the external electric potential. We have different 
uh, expressions that we can actually change them to for the boundary conditions. We have average current density, total current, and many others that we can actually change. So we are maintaining this to be the electric, electric potential. Now for uh, dissolving depositing species, we want to add. So we go ahead and select this area. This is where we're able to add our species. So click on to add and it has added a species to it. So we have S1 mean density as, as this and molar mass as this. So we've added our dissolving depositing species to the electrode surface in here of our work. So, like I said earlier on, we selected domain four for our electrode surface in here, and we went ahead to add the species, but we want to modify the variable for our species. We want to define it based on our parameter. So we go ahead to define it as N I. We want it to be the R O R H O N I. We want this to be molar mass of N I. As soon. So we go ahead to open the subdivision for electro surface, then we go on to check the number of participating electrons, stoichiometric coefficient for dissolving the persistent species as well. We've seen that what we 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 change when we change the variable over there, it has been defined over here. We want to change the number of participating electrons to two. We want to change this side to one as well. And this is the equation that comes to solve it with. Goes down. Then the equilibrium potential changes to this Q and the N I. Then move on to the electrode kinetics. where we want to choose, before that, we want to choose the local current density. So we go to electrode kinetics, then we select our expression type to Butler former equation and change this current density to this underscore nickel i and i non nickel and i so we've changed the current density this side and move ahead to add to duplicate this electro surface. We have a second move to the electrode reaction where we compare what before that it has to be changed, the domain has to be changed. It has to be changed to this. That's for the the second surface and also 
the base has to also change to average as shown over in this expression to has to change to this as shown in here. Then move back to here and also the coefficient has to change to one has to be one. So we go ahead to the electric surface and we want to add a reaction. We've added a reaction. We've added a reaction to this. Okay. So move ahead to the reaction. Then we want to move to the number of participation electrons. We will move to the potential. We also move to the kinetics. We change to cathodic. Current density has to change to this. Change this section to this. Then we go ahead to the mesh. As shown, we want to change the element size to a finer. We want to build or we want to build. Go to our time dependence, our current distribution initialization. We want to change this current to second view. Then our time dependent we want to change the output times. Let's change just this section to 60 and 600. Then we go ahead to, we can study now, compute. So we we'll able to compute and remove to our results. So we move to the selection. We want to select just a particular area, which will be the, the boundary. We want to select this. 
I want to plot to see. So that gives us the thickness change. I want to rename this plot to D posited thickness cathode. I want to duplicate this. I want to rename as the current efficiency cathode. We named it. We want to look at the surface and also change the expression in here to CD LOC underscore E R. CD.ITOT. As shown, we've changed the expression in here. Then finally, the plot final work. I shown. So that gives us our plots. Okay, so we would like to determine how to check the capacity fade in a 1D battery model. So we're going to use a 1D battery model in Comsol Motor Physics to predict the capacity in the battery over a period of time and it's aging over a period of time. So at the end, we should be able to plot some results showing the capacity cycle with respect to time, how it changes with respect to time and also the states of charge as well. So we will be we should make a plot of this as well during this study, showing the discharge curve comparison over a period of time, different cycles, and also the cell voltage during discharge for different cycle numbers. And also we should be able to make a plot of the state of charge at the separator and the Electrode boundary, different cycles, the first and the last cycle for the different electrodes. And finally, show the plots of how the capacity ages or varies over a period of time. So let's get started. So at the beginning, we need to um, go to our model wizard then from our file. We look at our application libraries. So when we open our application libraries, it brings us to this space where we choose lithium ion batteries and we select capacity fade. We select the capacity phase C and we open. So when you open, it will take you to the interface and you see 
or everything defined the variables as you can see variables have been defined over here so it's actually in both all these things are in both in the console setup depending on the model that we are using Go to lithium ion battery. Those electrodes, everything. You can see that already been the domain has already been selected. You can let go electrode. That's actually been defined most of the. Variables have been defined. Back to the flows, electrodes. So this is basically how it is. And if you should check the materials, you see that it's actually added materials to it. The electrolyte negative and the positive electrode have been added to it. Go to the initial cell charge distribution. You can see everything has been input over here. So we, we go ahead to add the charge discharge cycling to it. That will be the first direct, and we select our domain as four. That is all we select for this. Uh, discharge current the shutting current is set as minus i minimum voltage is set as e Quantum voltage is the max. A charging current will be set as this. And we include, we check this side, which is include constant voltage charging. Then we set this side, which is the upper cutoff as Right. So we would like to start, we go to the start mode and we want to start with the charge first in this section.
go to first lecture one. Where you check to me. You want to add uh, SEI as your SEI. You want to make this here. This way. That's our dissolving depositing species. We set it as a CI with the kind of density and the minimum mass as well. We go ahead to check this add volume change to we uncheck this part. And also the film resistance want to change it to thickness and conductivity so that we can define the reference from thickness which we define this way and we also want to change the film thickness we want to change it to total film thickness this way From conductivity, we want to change it to to this. We move to the porous electrode reaction one. check everything then we go and we add a plus electrode reaction to the second one for plus electrode so over here to go to the electrode kinetics Then we make here user defined so we can input our i. Let's go on SEI. Yeah. Cycle and let's go on number greater than zero. This way. Move to our variables. We check to see if everything is defined. As previously, those which were in yellow are now black. Everything is now black, as you can see. Go back to Pro's Electrode Reaction 2. And we check our coefficient over here, which will make it T 
underscore factor minus one. That is stoichiometric coefficient of B I theta. We go to our parameters and we check. Our T factor, that's time isolation factor. Actually, two fifty. So we'll move back to our first electrode two so that we can set our SEI to be T underscore factor. Temperature should be user defined. Go on to definitions to add an integration. Where we we'll select the negative electrode. We move to our study. And before that, I want to show default. So uh, we move to our current distribution initialization. Want to check if everything is nine, but first you actually modify this part and go ahead to disable our first electro reaction too. So if it's either correct here or just disable right here. So now it's disabled. Our previous electrode reaction to so 
you go to current distribution, then you go on to disable pro selector two. Let's open this solver. And our time dependent solver. Let's add a stop condition. So we want to add a stop condition to this. That cycles. And we also want to add changes but to steps before and after. So uh, this section, we want to uncheck this part. So I'm steady. Want to uncheck generate default thoughts. So before you study, you need to go to, you need to check all the areas to see whether there's no mistake, especially for the pros, electrical reaction one and two. So we check that it should be thing that I've done over here. Material should be graphite equilibrium material kinetics as well. This way carefully edited. So this was what we made some changes over here. At the equilibrium potential should be user defined. Kinetics user defined. So we go ahead and compute. We have our convergence plot. So we have this. So
So we we'll move on to uh, the screen space. I want to add a uh, one B plot group. I want to add a one B plot group. It's in plots some results which will name as load cycle. Name this as load cycle with the title. Type will be none. Plot two y axis. Our load cycle wants to add global we want to input this expression I cell. So, our uh, variables ISO is already stated. Yeah. Move to global. I want to duplicate this. Want to filter as well. Want to put a logical expression over here as the first cycle filter. Significated in here. We move to global two. And we want to we want to delete this global two. Just making this global one and duplicate it as well. I want to check this. I want to. Change this expression here to E. When we plot, this is how it should look like after plotting. We want to add one D plot group. the expression to discharge is comparison. A title to none. Why is this? We name it as cell potential. Want to add a global so we will name this as the first 
cycle. So for this expression, E cell. Direction. I want to change, check. And make the parameter an expression. So we input our expression as T this this would be our expression for our parameter And you go ahead. To filter. And. You check this. As. Per cycle filter charge data. So this has to be let's go. It's just a star over here. The cycle filter. It's a filter here. Yeah, and we're able to plot it. Move to a variable. First cycle. Spotted. Go ahead to duplicate this. How about we check the last cycle? And let this. Description cycle go to two hundred thousand. And we go ahead to filter and 
make this the last. Plot. Let me see. Last cycle for. So we make here description cycle for one. Make the comparison a bit better. Plot. This is the first cycle, and this is the I go for 2,000, for 2,000. Go ahead to add the 1D plot group. Change this to SEI. Layout potential drop at one C. Change title. Why add this? Um, we can the type of here. Yes. And we go ahead to the wire access as potential drop over. Let's make this potential drop over CI layer. Go ahead to add a point graph. Select what we want to check. We put our expression in here. Change your parameter to run expression. Change the expression over here to cycle number. The description for cycle number. Change this to at negative electrode. All right. Collection.
Wait, what was I had? Dr. Adams. Look to add a filter to it. So let me label this as ECH dot filter. We'll duplicate this. In this election, change it to here. We delete this. And here, this, that will disappear. Show our letters as well. We we'll duplicate this and change this to a left light. Why are this label changes to electrolyte interaction? And we go to our points. That's where change this to yes. Mm, we change that of when you have two, two down. One plot, we have this. But we have this graph. I want to add a under one the plot group. Which we will call capacity fade this is time. Uh, compatible persons time. Now try to do none. Why access show the time and base and show relative. 
Go ahead to add global. This becomes a kill minus. One, two, let's go. We can only share. Zero. Zero. Change the parameter to expression where I name this as T. Description on this choose time of this show ladies to enough and we want to show this as Based on go ahead to add a photo to this. Yes, charge but. This and See, see, Thank you. 
show your images to your normal uh, one two, discharge capacity. So we will duplicate this. Change this to versus cycle number. Change. Cycle number expression change to cycle number send this to the same two plots. Add another one D plot group. Um, local states of charge at separator should interface. This manual. Why are this is SOC? We add a four point global. And a point point graph instead. So it selects with the expression. As we see, we see of course surface SOC, LOC. This is right. Let's make sure everything is right. Parameter expression. We choose T. CDC. T. Underscore. Switch. And we want to show our legends. 
so need to show this book here. It's probably We type this again. Thank you. Legends, humility, truth. So, first cycle. What are the total? It will be the first. Psycho underscore total. I want to duplicate this point. And graph. I want to select we select this and uh, select the side two green. This will be positive. We want to duplicate this again. Change the filter to I want to duplicate and change the filter to last. Sorry. Last see. I want to duplicate this point graph two and select select it's already selected so Select again here. Okay, so we have four, one, two, three, four. Already selected. Boy. We move to want to check how the 
variables or actually look. So in our battery, we go to how about we look at pros natural reaction. So this shows the local current density. 